So as you guys know, this channel is all about being on a budget. And here lately, the Firefly guitars are, have been the big thing on Amazon, even eBay. People even buy them on eBay, you know, that can't get them um, from Amazon because they want them so bad, right? So it's been a big craze about the Firefly guitar. And they've even come out with new models. I don't have one of their new models, but I did build one similar to it. And this is the one that I built. And this is the kind of, you know, guitars that they're coming out with. Supposed to be coming out the Les Paul style guitar and all that stuff, all that jazz. But that's not what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about the Firefly guitar. See, a lot of people misinterpret me when I say that these things are amazing. They feel great. What I mean by that is, is by the price. For $140, you can get a replica, pretty much a 335, 335 replica guitar, right? And right out of the box, it's amazing, okay? Uh, these are one of the first productions of these guitars. This is not you know what you're getting now um here lately people been getting them they're having uh finish issues and maybe tuning issues just little flaws that you know that that you get for a cheap guitar but when these first came out and i got a hold of one um you know business was slow for them so there's taking more time on making them well now they're trying to get them out the door as fast as they can and there's going to be flaws in that um but my recommendation right now before you continue this video, if, if they're in stock, I recommend you to go get one because this is a great opportunity to build off of. But today I'm going to be talking about what I upgraded on this guitar and what I had to do to get this guitar playing just as good as an Epiphone. Now this is never going to be a Gibson, but this can be good as an Epiphone, yet better than an Epiphone, okay? So I thought I'd give you guys a closer look, taking the tuners off and putting new tuners on this guitar. Um, upgrading it, but I thought I'd give you a closer look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this look like uh, rosewood a little bit better. I'm going to change out the pickups with some Epiphone pickups. A full size switch, which mine does. I don't know about everybody else's. I don't know if I can get that down in there. Full size switch. You can see some of the wood. Shipping there. Let's go ahead and take out the pick up and see what's underneath. See what they look like. Got your typical cheap Chinese pickups. They've been doing these for years. Um, you can tell they're cheap by the back of them and they have like a little code. And there's some router marks right here in the guitar. A little bit of a finish crack there. There's your block. And a number two in there. Here's your other cheap pickup. So I'm going to be doing away with these. These seem to be okay, but I'm going to do away with these. I don't know if I'm going to put the Epiphone pickups or the P90 humbucker sized pickups that I have. So I decided to go with the P90 sized humbucker. Basically, it's pretty much this in a humbucker form. And a little tip for you, I always put tape over my bridge post so they don't spin and get my action all messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other one in. I noticed that when you go put a regular pickup in or a humbucker size pickup, it's really don't want to go in, right? I figured out why. They didn't route this big enough, and I see how they got these pickups to fit. They bent those down. That was a little crazy to bend those like that. But you can actually bend these just a hair to where they actually fit down in. So, you might have to run into that. That's what you get when you get a cheap guitar. 140 bucks. So, be prepared to modify a little bit if you have to. Alright, got the pickups in. Got the pickups soldered in. And you're probably asking, you know, why didn't you go ahead and replace all this? And the pots and the wiring while you're in there. They still work pretty good. I guess they are cheap and wired cheap, and uh, I'm just going to wait till they go out, and I have a vintage set of uh, pots and switch that I'm going to put in here. But these are a pain to wire, so I'm going to leave that um, for last. Whenever these go out, you know, I'll uh, put them in, but for now, I'm just going to put these in. Darken the fretboard to make it look like rosewood, and then change the tuners. These fit a Gibson. Uh, Gibson Les Paul Jr. Anything that's like three by three, right? Well, I'm going to put the conversion bushings in here, and these won't even line up with the holes, okay? 
It's not even close. So these are, are spaced out different. And then I was gonna put these tuners on it, but the bushings that I got keep the post like this, and you won't be able to get no string around on it. So I could grind these down if I had to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and replace them. I got these style to put on there, which they'll look pretty good, and they it's a good upgrade for a cheap guitar. So I got that it done. Kind of looks like rosewood now. Well, real rosewood. Um, Looks a lot better. You can see imperfections of where they put the. Uh, you can see imperfections where they put the inlays in the guitar, but other than that, it looks pretty good. The first thing I did was crown, or leveled and crowned the frets. And I went ahead and took out the pickups and replaced them with a P90 humbucker sized pickups. Uh, I replaced the bridge with a Goto bridge. You can go back on my channel. You can find the review of this bridge and the model number so you can get one for your guitar. Still has the stock tailpiece. Did not upgrade the pots as you've seen. You've seen me do all this, but I'm just going over it again. I'm waiting for them to fail, and I'll, I have a vintage set that I'm going to put in here in wiring. I made the fretboard look more realistic uh, like Rosewood. Um, I have a video on my channel on that. Also, how to make your... Uh, engineered rosewood look like real ro rosewood so you can go check that on my channel but it looks a lot better it looks more believable and it looks like a little bit higher end guitar um, mine still has a little bit of a shininess to it which i'm going to doll that out um, another thing i replaced is the tuners and that's basically it and i put strings on it so you can do this from uh, a cheap standpoint it does you don't have to buy expensive pickups or uh, you can buy expensive pickups that's up to you I would recommend buying expensive pickups and wiring and get you some good goto or good Grover tuners um, and you should be set because this guitar overall is really 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 nice okay the wood grain is really nice the the build quality is really really nice I couldn't find any flaws in this finish there's you know it's a, it's a pretty nice guitar um, I've not had a problem with it whatsoever going out of adjustment, going out of tune, especially that I put these upgrades on it. I've not had a problem out of it whatsoever. Um, I have my action really low on this guitar because I did a fret job on it. Now, from the factory, when I got mine, it actually had a pretty decent fret job on it. But I went ahead and uh, did it a little bit to make it feel a lot better and play a lot better because I, I do my frets different from people. Well, I'm sure people out there do it. What I do is level them, I crown them, then I go back over them with real thin sandpaper with a leveling beam and kind of go over it and just flatten them out just a wee little bit so they feel broke in. <clears throat> Another thing is I did take the pick guard off because I didn't like it. I thought it looked a lot better so I just went ahead and put the screw back in it. But yeah, this guitar sounds amazing. Uh, these guitars are worth buying. Sounds good. I mean, this thing sounds really good. It, you can just feel it just resonate. For $140. Sounds really, really good. So, uh, yeah, this is how I upgraded it. Went in detail. I showed you the switch. Um, showed you everything inside, what it looked like. Showed you how to make it a lot better. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys do this to your guitar. And go on Facebook, check out Guitar Buzz Talk Show, like the page, share your Firefly there. Don't have to be a 335. Um, um, it could be any Firefly or budget guitar um, because that's what I m mostly mess around with and put a little bit of money into. A lot of people call me crazy, but I'm telling you, you can make a budget guitar sound really good and play really good and feel really good. So uh, stick around. I'm going to go ahead and show you a demo of this guitar at the end, show you the pickups, what it sounds like. I'm not even going to mic the amplifier because I believe that um, gives you a false sound. I've he heard reviews on YouTube where they mic the, the, the amp and it sounded amazing. Then I got the pickups that they had and it didn't sound nowhere like that because it's, it's just the way it is. I, I'd rather do it live so you guys can hear it and enjoy it and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys stay tuned because I am upgrading the Firefly Thinline Tele also. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. Mm -hmm.